All right, we are at 7 April 2022, Bitcoin 43600, ETH 3200. Hey, today what I wanted to go over, I have switched majority of my rig. I have 1.2 giga hash. I don't want to buy any more GPUs, but I switched the majority from Ethermine over to this Ezil pool. And uh, let's look at that. I'll give you a little update what is going on with that. So this is it if you go to easel.me and it gives you a comparison. They compare with the big boy. So whenever there's a, you know, a guy, a new mining pool or a pining pool that's out there, you always go against the key guy, which is Ethermine, right? Everyone's on Ethermine, which is fine. I have no problem with Ethermine. I've been on it ever since I started mining in October. Uh, you got a fee of 1%. Easel is 1%. It was free, so I have to check that. Uh, it was 0%, so I got to check that. When I signed up yesterday, it was one I mean zero percent. All right, coins. It does ETH and ETC. This one does ETH, ETC, and you get Zill rewards with that. You get payout in Zill, and I'll show you that reward method is the uh, peer PPLNS, and they got here on Ezill PPLNS PPS, and uh, the payment method here as well is uh, a little more options and detailed is all subjective, but they probably give you a little more maybe C CSV download spreadsheets. So you can go through, it's real easy to join. You just, I mean, go through and you um, can actually do a referral program as well. They got Discord, all of the stuff that is useful to learning and getting tips and tricks, whatever. Uh, low fee payouts, the same thing. You know, you can set your GUI fee and get paid in Ethereum and you can also get paid to your uh, Zill wallet. So real easy stuff here. Here's some stats. You got the pools, you got a number of miners. So you got most people on ETH, but again, most people are doing the ETH and Zill combo, which is what I'm doing. And there's the minimal payouts. You can tweak those as well, just like an Ether mine. And uh, yeah, go check it out. So let me know, unless you're using it too, let me know how, what your success rate has been or what your experience has been. You can click join pool. You can go through. This is a really one of the best configurators I've found. It's so basic and intuitive. They've done a great job. Uh, you pick which pool you want. You go down, what are you running on? Look at that. Sweet, right? I never even heard of half of these. So when you go through these new mining pools, you learn a lot because, oh, I knew these two. I didn't know about miners that Rave OS, OS, dogs, and blah, Didn't know. But now I know. Uh, choose your region. Gives you your, you know, and then it goes down and it fills out. Hey, let's do it. I did that. I did Windows. Let's do U.S. Let's say East Coast. And it goes through and it starts building up your command line for your miner. Look, let's do I love T-Rex. That's the winner for me, baby. I'm a T-Rex loyalist until something else better comes out. I don't know. I like T-Rex. Uh, there you go. Sets it up. And again, what they do, it's kind of interesting. It's unlike dual mining the coin in a way, they kind of just say, give me your address. And they combine the ETH wallet address decimal point with a uh, Zill wallet address. And they just put one working in. Pretty interesting. So I like that. And uh, so that's enough on that. How are we doing? I've been mining for a day, baby. One whole day. One whole day. And I always get nervous because, you know, I don't have that much mega hash power. And to pull it off of something I know works, like right here, you know, you can see I'm down to three. And look how I slumped down. I went from my 1.2 down to what? Oh, my God. 253. And uh, that always makes me nervous because stuff is working. Stuff is churning along. And for me to switch... A majority of that power over to a new mining pool. It's always I don't I get nervous. I don't I might waste some time, I might waste electricity, etc. Here we are. If you want to send me Ether Ethereum and you want to send me some Zill, here are my addresses. Send them to me. I'll appreciate it. <laughs> no one send me anything to date. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, so here we go. I love the, I'll give credit. All right, so here we go. Zero percent fee, limited time offer join now. So it is zero percent. Uh, check it out. It's it, a percent is a percent, baby. It adds up. These expenses add up. These fees add up. So I'll take it while I can get it. And you go through and say, here's my Zill extra income right over here, six percent. So as I'm mining Ethereum, you can set your gas fee by clicking on this sprocket right here. Same as Ethermine. You know, confirm your IP, set your minimal payout, and uh, set your gas fee. And uh, I left it at 0.01 because I just wanted to see if it worked, and it has worked. Uh, I just completed mining the 0.01 uh, maybe an hour ago, and then it actually dropped below 60, which is my gas fee, which is about three bucks, and uh, I should probably lower it. Yeah, 
because it hit it pretty quickly. So I might lower it to 50 and I got paid out. I was like, oh, wow, this actually worked. So I was con concerned, oh, is this going to work? New mining pool? Is this going to hold on to my thing, my coins? You know, I don't know. You never know. You never know till you try. So you always do little small samples. Uh, here's my hash rate since I joined. Blammo. And uh, there's my shares. Nice gooey, buddy. I love it. I'm, I'm, I, did, I did this for a living for a long time. And this is a nice layout. It gets the point across. Green and red is good. People just want green and red stuff when you're looking at a dashboard. And they want it simple. They, they don't want it overcomplicated. And here they show my payout for the day. I mean, my uh, what I make a day, approximately 40 bucks. And uh, again, I have the other stuff on Ethermine mining. So I get about 52 bucks cumulative a day, not counting CPU mining, of which I'm mining Pulsar. Uh, and yeah, I'm just on Pulsar right now. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'll probably switch back to something else after I get a big bag of Pulsar. And Pulsar works great because I am getting staking rewards on the wallet. In addition to mining, it's great. I love Pulsar. That's another video. And I did a few before about that as well. But this is about Ezo. I like it. If you guys use it, let me know. Give me any, any uh, uh, feedback. It's working great. Um, I'm just going to keep it another day. And I want to see, I want to see, <clears throat> sorry, I want to see the Zill payout. So like I said, I hit the 0.01. And then so probably in tomorrow at this time, tomorrow around noon, I should also get um, the minimum 30 payout in Zill and see if that actually goes to my Zill wallet and uh, see that get deposited. And because once it's in your wallet, you can actually stake that as well. So here, we go. I like this too. This is really kind of cool. 19 hours, 44 minutes. They give you a tw like 20 hour estimate when I'll get my payout. And they did that for ETH, uh, the ETH payout as well. And they tell you the way right there. You're not guessing. So it's kind of cool. It's like you don't have to go to another Ether scan page to check the GUI fee. It tells you right here. It's it's well designed. It's like people that use crypto, mine crypto, use mining pools, design this because they use it as well. Because they say, what do we want to see? What do people want to see? What's the most useful information? And it updates automatically. You don't have to click a little toggle to say, please update every minute. It just updates it. And there's a promo code. I don't even know where I got this promo code. I think I got it off. I Googled Ezil promo code. And I just put that in there. I don't, and again, it's 0% now, so I don't even know what it's doing for me. Uh, so there. Um, let's see. What else can I show you? Oh, reports. Here's my workers. And I like this too. Again, people like color-coded status symbols. They can just look across the room, have their dashboard up, see green, red. And then they can react accordingly. Here I see I got th online three, which is good. Zero, zero, good. I know things are working right off the bat. Uh, I did short my worker names because they were being chopped. That's my only thing. I can't lengthen the column of this. So what I did, I just said, ah, that's fine. That's I can live with that. I just did not restart this worker because this is my big 630 ADTI rig. And it went through all of the LHR tuning. And I didn't want to restart it. The thing's running. And I'm learning now, if things are working, don't. Just don't mess with them. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The saying is around for a reason. Let things run until you have to. Then you do a whole maintenance and a downtime for like whatever, half hour, clean things up, change names, tweak things, and then start her back up. Uh, just don't be slamming these things up and down, up and down. I, in my experience, it's just not worth the time. And just let things run. Don't mess with it. Because you just may make it worse. You may break something. Yeah, so there's my hash rate. Great GUI, great interface. Uh, you get a referral program too if you bring little puppies over, little cryptonauts, have little baby cryptonauts, build up your crypto minion army and uh, go from there and start referring people to the pool. So far, so good. I mean, awesome. Love it. And uh, again, the big thing is 0% fee when the pool is always a plus. And the second great thing is, um, is the, uh, where is it at? The Zill payout. That's a plus. Because Zill is not too bad. Um, go check it out. Go to Coin Market Cab. Look at Zill. And uh, yeah, I think uh, who's that dude? Red. There's so many red panda crypto foxes mining people. I lose track. Uh, one of the guys, I think it was the panda guy. He he was mining Zill with ETH or something like that, and Zill actually hit. You know, it took off, and so I think he he you know was able to buy his Lamborghini or something. I don't I'm just kidding. I don't know. I think he was mining Zill. That got me to think, well, what is this Zill? So again, 
my advice is everybody's too, as I say, use your own thinking, you know, your own due diligence, critical thinking skills. Watch the videos for entertainment. Don't become over, over, uh, don't become addicted to watching every video and doing everything everyone says. Just get the information, think about it, go, oh, let me go check it out. So I went, I checked out Zill and I went down the rabbit hole and said, oh, I can actually mine ETH and get Zill and then ETH, I'm going to pay 0% mining fee versus ETH your mine. Let me try it. And I tried it and it, it actually works. And I'm my, I, like I said, I'll stick with this another day to make sure I can get the Zill payout. And if that works and I'm getting the same I am on ETH as I was on Ethermine minus the fee, I'm just going to stick over here on Zill and I go with it. I don't know. What do you think? Sounds like a strategy to me. And I'm going to go with it, stick to my guns for one more day, just like I did with CPU mining, switching over from Ractorium to Pulsar to check that out. Again, all this stuff is new to me. I'm learning as I go, passing on what I do. And i not a big Discord fan, but I do have a Discord. And I do actually now will learn to click on these things to go in and I scan the latest comments. And you actually will pick up stuff. You'll get a vibe for what's going on. And you kind of filter out the crap. You know, people. some people just say stuff that is not backed up in fact. But in general, you get a good gist, a good vibe of what's happening with this say, this mining pool, the coin, or whatever you're looking at in Discord. So go browse it. Don't get in, don't get too bogged down in, uh, in some of these Discords, but just use them for reference. And post question. It, how people respond to you is very telling of, you know, whether you should be part of anything. So... Most most mining most discords have been great. People in mining generally ninety nine point nine percent want to help you out. They want everyone to succeed, and they uh, they want the community to grow. And we are in an infancy yet. I mean, this is still early adopter phase, and uh, that's the place to be. Start accumulating coins. My advice is what I'm living by. This is my my experience. Don't sell, and that's for me my own experience when I did sell the damn coins would double the next week. And I'm like, oh, and I didn't need the money. So what was I doing? I just made myself a nice little tax event and more re more reporting uh, pain in the butt. And if I just would have held, then I would have been, you know, double my profits and then maybe taking profits off the table or take out your, your initial cost basis. And I did that with Tesla stock. I had an equity stock in Tesla and say I put in 10K. You know, and I made I made 10K. I took out my initial 10K, and then now I'm playing with house money. And it takes a lot of stress off you. And uh, actually, you will, you know, make make it so that you have that 10K. So if it does dip down or you want to go buy something else, you're basically making more of your little minions out there, you know, divide and conquer. And that's the way I look at it, too. I made my 10. That pot is over there riding all my profits, took my cost basis. And that's kind of what I'm going to start thinking about with crypto. We are in kind of a weird area now where it's hovering in the 3,000 for ETH. And and what is it? I forget, man. I have short-term memory. And 40, 40s for Bitcoin. Once it breaks through the four and the 50,000, I think, you know, boom, it's going to take off. And then start thinking about profits because you know it's going to come back down. It's a, it's a it, The volatility in crypto is a plus in that if you can take profits off the table, hold it, and then when the things dip, dip, dips again and buy back in. That is just my philosophy. I could be 100% wrong, but uh, I don't know. What do you guys do? And uh, not in, not financial advice at all. You know, YouTube is just for entertainment. If you're uh, taking advice from people on YouTube, that's not good. Just use it for entertainment and uh, use your own judgment. Use your own critical thinking skills. So that is where I am at. Ezil is so far is a win. And uh, I'm going to keep going and see if I get the Zill payment and I'll post on that. All right. Thanks for watching. Go forth to great things. I will talk to you later.